Hello everybody, my name is Drew and welcome back to more material energy here. And uh, boy have I got an episode planned this day. And by planned, I mean actually planned. Um, we're going to do quite a bit of work today. Oh, these doing 43%. Slowly but surely they are growing. Uh, I wanted to see if we can't make that pump today because I would very much like to have my hands on a lot of jelly cryothium. And I do mean a lot because there's a lot down there. Um, I was messing around in here and just kind of exploring and seeing if there's mist or if I had missed anything. I was also trying to see if I could breed the sheep. Uh, it turns out I can breed them, but it just makes more wild sheep. I don't actually end up with a domesticated sheep. Just these guys. So, that's kind of useless to me. I would also like to look at uh, maybe doing farms, but uh, that's not necessarily a, a top priority right now. It would be nice to have that going sooner rather than later, but I can show you some exciting progress. I ended up using uh, a bunch of saplings and made ourselves a whole bunch of jungle wood. Well, this looks like oak wood, not jungle wood. Is that oak wood? I thought I put jungle wood down. Hold on. Because I planted the jungle sapling, grew it, and then cut that down. No, that's jungle wood right there. That says jungle wood. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. I guess I'm using oak wood for this. Who knew? Um, yeah, so I've got these cocoa beans on the oak wood. Thought it was jungle wood. Turns out it's oak wood. And they're, they're going pretty quick. And they give you quite a few cocoa beans. So I'm not really worried about our cocoa supply right now. Um, I would like to find a way to automate this. But that's going to require a little bit of research because I don't know if it works with the farming station that I want to build. Which is from Ender.io. And it's this guy right here. So, I don't know. It says the plants of harvesters crops. Ooh, excuse me, I'm going to yawn. Uh, yeah, it's going to, it plants and harvests crops, but I'm not sure exactly what crops it'll handle. So I need to be very careful about that. Um, it will work for wheat, which is another thing that we want quite a lot of. Because uh, you need wheat in order to make cookies. I'm going to go over here real quick and grab some of that bone meal out of there. I was just bone mealing stuff in order to make it grow and get more of it. Um, this is one of our mini knees that I've lassoed, I don't know how many times, and just said to leave them in there. Fuck them. Um, okay, let's go check on this guy. Is this guy got a lot of gold in you now? Ah, good. I can actually, I can actually put this out now. Um, I was having a lot of trouble with the queen's gold. Actually, let's just make a block of queen's gold. Let's just do that. Because if I make a block, I can get rid of a ton of it out of the smeltery. I can also get rid of the gold, which would be quite nice. Because there is a lot of that gold in there. And then we can move on to making some hardened glass that we need in order to make a bigger and better tanks. Um, there are several different tanks that we have available to us. Uh, between fluid tank, there is the pressurized fluid tank, and then there's the ender tank frame. Now the ender tanks are I assume similar to other large multi-block structure tanks. Uh, I could be wrong in that. I haven't really looked at it. Uh, we also have down here the tank made from uh, Z-Tones, uh, whatever the hell that is. Don't know much about that. I think it's not actually a tank tank. Like, I think it's actually like a decorative block by the look of it. Well, I want... Oh man, I keep yawning and it's killing me. I want one of these guys. Reinforced portable tank. Because this can hold 128 buckets in a very convenient size. The max we can get right now are hardened. Wait, can we even get hardened? Yeah, we can get hardened. I would like reinforced because of how big it is. I mean, obviously the resonant would be the best, holding 512. But I'm not going to hold my breath for that one. Uh, we could also make open block tanks, but that requires obsidian and more glass than I really want to invest at this point in time. So we're going to need to make hardened glass, which is made from obsidian and lead. So, as you can imagine, it's not exactly a crazy easy thing to get our hands on. And that's fine. It's meant to be a little bit challenging. Look at all that queen's gold. 
Um, in the meantime, however, we can make our pump, which I'm really excited about. So if you remember, their only real option in this mod pack for pumps is going to be this guy, endothermic pump. And that needs four of those, which is ender infused obsidian. It also needs a diamond, an eye of ender, which we've got, a bucket of water, and a bucket of lava. So we're going to need to get ourselves a bucket of lava and a bucket of water. Now, the bucket of water is pretty easy. We're just going to zip on into the biosphere and then grab one. And the bucket of lava is going to be equally easy. I don't even need to load a new zone. We'll just take the extra bucket that's sitting in our magma crucible. See? Easy as pie. Um, how can I do this without disturbing too much of the water? Probably not very. Do I care? Uh, yeah, I kind of care. Actually, you know what we'll do? Here, we'll put... We'll put one there. We'll be smart about this. We'll make ourselves an infinite source block. Actually, I didn't even need to go all the way over here. I can just go this way. Make ourselves an infinite source block in the middle. And then we'll do the smart thing and replace that one. Replace this one. And everybody gets to go home happy. All right, so there's our water bucket. Uh, I probably need to make a new bucket for the lava. Don't be falling in the holes now. Or walking straight off the stairs. You know, that's good, too. Let's go around here. Actually, the lava is right over there. I don't even need to grab what's in there. Grab ourselves an empty bucket. Grab that. Let's go. Pump. And third pump. Now, what are we missing? Oh, right. We need ender, ender infused obsidian. Conveniently, I will make that. So we're low on obsidian, which is not a great thing, but that's okay. Oh, what are we missing? Iron pick, of course. Hooray. I got another achievement that nobody cares about. Okay, so let's go ahead. Grab that. We get our two buckets back. Don't care. So there's our endothermic pump. Now this guy needs power. And for that, I think we're going to steal this guy for now. Because the system can handle just uh, taking power out of those and powering everything up and down. Um, we have the rest of the... Oh yeah, I did this, by the way. I lowered the platform a little bit so that there's a little more height to work with for running cabling and expanded it so that we can move maneuver around and also have these larger generators available to us when we want them. I might actually just be kind of a dick and throw those in there for now because we'll get a few ticks of us having uh, quite a bit of power, at least for a little bit. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to make such a large scale farm and automate making, say, bread or something so that we can, you know, power everything that way. Now, one thing to test, I'm going to grab a quadruple compressed cookie. This is a precious resource, I know. However, I want to see if this changes anything on this guy. So let's throw him in there. So that makes 400 RF every five seconds. Now, the unfortunate thing I'm seeing is that the time that this gets used doesn't really change. It's still five seconds. This is still four minutes. The power output, at least on, the, on anything above the survivalist generator, seems to be... At least for these, the, the culinary generators, it seems to be stuck at five seconds. Very interesting. So we've got this guy. Let's go over to the reactor. I'm going to charge this guy. And how is this doing, by the way? Eh, pretty good. Is it active right now? Oh, it is active. Look at that. All right, well, let's throw this guy down. And you can hear over there that things are getting their asses kicked by my pseudo army of skeletons. I don't know how much power this pump is going to take either. I just kind of thought of that. But I'm assuming a hardened energy cell will be enough. Um, we're also going to slap a tank on. We're going to make another tank just so we can hopefully carry a couple with us and, and be good. That type of drink. So, yeah, 
let's see if that's enough. It should be. Um, if I have to go up to a higher tier energy cell, I won't be like super happy about it. Um, what do we have? I think these are all leadstone over here, aren't they? Oh no, these are all hardened. So we could get more of these going as well, because we have all those leadstones in our base, which is fine. Um, one thing to consider with this is what's the output of this? What is the output of you? You output at, oh no, you're off right now. So you output a whopping grand total of, let's find out. I'm assuming probably like a thousand per tick. I think we discussed maybe, maybe less than that. Yeah, probably somewhere in that neighborhood. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, you're full enough. This is an experiment. I don't even know if this is going to work. We're going to find out. I'm hoping it works. Should work. Okay, so we've got our pump. We've got that guy. Um, I'm going to make a new tank. Let's go down here to harden tank. Get one of those because it uses glass and everything. All right, and let's go down and see what happens. Because I'm actually quite curious here. Uh, I'm assuming one of the things that's going to happen is we're going to have a ton of bad guys to deal with. And I'm not going to be happy about that. But won't be a ton that we could do about it. So we're going to go down here. And you can see where I was manually removing stuff. Okay. How's this doing? Who's even throwing? Oh, they're all over there. Eh. So the way that this works, as far as I'm aware, is you slap that guy down. I'm going to slap this guy down beside it. I'm wondering now, do I put this on top? Probably. This mode is on input. That's fine. Hey, there we go. Wow. That was actually surprisingly quick. That filled up way faster than I thought it would. So here's what we're going to do then. Because we need this for a quest as well as our own personal use. So what I'm going to do, let's go back up top real quick. I'm going to I'm going to turn this guy off real quick. So this has got a yeah, 1000 RL. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Where did that even get taken from? Cuz the way it works is that it replaces blocks. I thought maybe I'm wrong in that. I thought it replaced them with stone. If it doesn't, then bonus to us because then things won't spawn. But if it does, you never know. All right, so let's go back up top. Uh, I need to get... What do I need? Uh, well, besides another tank. Aha. Uh -huh. No, we're going to make a QDS. Or grab a QDS, actually. And if you don't remember what the QDS is, I don't blame you. I haven't actually used one yet in this series. But that stands for the Quest Delivery System. And it's actually really neat how it works. We're going to grab one of those and we're going to assign it to a quest. And then our system will automatically just empty out into it. Uh, do I have any conduits, I wonder? Because I don't know if I can directly... I do have fluid conduits. Excellent. This pleases me. I'm not going to need many. And then the QDS should be in one of these chests. Yes, quest delivery system. Perfect. Grab that. We're going to grab a quest log. Oh, man, um, before I forget, we also have some quests that were completed in the off-camera session. So we've got two quests in here. I don't know how this completed, by the way. It just randomly showed up as completed. I don't know. Maybe because I unequipped and re-equipped my shield, it suddenly decided to work. But there we go. Now we've got two extra shields. Yay. Nobody really cares. And this is kind of cool. The spikes one. So now we get a whole bunch of spikes that we kind of don't need. So hooray for that. Glowstone. Interesting. With the skeletons and all that crap. Uh, Baked to win is actually, I finally killed enough zombies. And that gives us some triple compressed cookie. Mm -mm, yes. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's anything else to worry about there. Let's go ahead and put this triple compressed cookie in there. And we can put all of these spikes away because they're useless. And that guy. I really should sort my system out because it is getting a little on the full side. And having a more or less empty AE system would be good when we don't have a ton of storage. Um, 
I'm not at the point where I am in the game where I can just start randomly chucking random shit into our system like I do in most of the Feed the Beast, which actually ends up clogging your system up, um, especially when you get to auto crafting, because in order to auto craft something, even though you might have all the materials you need, you might not have the empty space required. So let's go ahead and grab this guy. Oh, no, that was bad. Thankfully, we have this guy now. I charged up our... Hey, where'd that go? Oh, don't tell me that's been lost. No, no, you haven't been lost. Don't tell me that. Um, how can I make this work? No, apparently I just lost that. Son of a bitch. Well, that upsets me. I needed that. All right, well. So let's try this the first way. We're going to put the QDS there. We're going to open this up. And we're going to go into here and look at Lost in Space. And we want which quest? It's called Coolant, I think. And there it is, Climate Control. So we're going to, we need 2,000 buckets. So we're going to select Task and right click that guy. So that guy is now set to there. We're going to go here. So the, oh, you bound Climate Control to the QDS. So we're going to say, Bam, output. And we're done. Ta-da! That wasn't that easy, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you quickly and very, very easily complete a quest. <laughs> it's now done. It does replace everything with stone, which is slightly problematic, but whatever. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and claim our reward. And this gives us access to what? It does not look like anything. That's unfortunate. But we can open the reward bag, which is a good reward bag. It's going to give us another reward bag and three soul bound enchanted books. Oh, good. Thank you. It's exactly what I wanted in life. Okay. So that was cool. We need a bigger, we need a bigger tank. Um, we also need some torches. I don't have any torches. That's problematic for me. So it's good to know that we can directly interface the QDS with something like a pump. Uh, what I need now is a larger tank or more tanks. I haven't decided which. All right, so here's what's going to go down. Because it's only 32 buckets at a time. Hmm. Because we need quite a lot of this stuff. Let's go this way. What we need... So what do we need for tanks? Hardened tank is this guy. So we need hardened glass. No, I need. I'll just go tank. So we need reinforced portable tank. This holds 128 buckets for one, and it made with hardened glass. The other option, like I said, would be the other tank, but that's not going to be good for us. The ender tank. I don't even know how to make that work. We also need a lot of resources for it like a tesseract kind of not into that one thing we could do one thing we might be able to do and i might have to put a quick cut in the video to make this happen i might just start dumping coolant into our into our reactor um as we kind of go because i don't have the resources to make a crazy tank i'm just gonna say tank like that and we want the reinforced tank. So how does one make hardened fused quartz glass, hardened glass? So that's made with four obsidian and lead ingot, which we don't really have a lot of obsidian. But it will work with quartz infused glass, right? Fused quartz, hardened glass, hardened aluminum glass, which doesn't really help us either. But we can make fused quartz glass can we do that how does one do that nether quartz okay hold on do we have nether quartz we have 77 so if i take a full stack and i throw it into our alloy smelter we'll end up with some fused quartz uh i'm gonna let this smelt up guys and i will be right back Alrighty, guys we're back here in the reactor room now with something i'm very proud of 
a flea jelly cryothium cooled reactor. Might not be the best re big reactor ever made, but god damn it, will it be efficient? Check this out. If I hit the go button now, you can see our, our core reactivity or fuel reactivity is much higher than it used to be. And our casing heat and core heat are more or less even, which is good because that means everything is being transmitted from the core to the outside. And pardon me. There is a uh, high heat raises energy output and coolant conservation, right? So we're not going to be using a lot of blah, blah, blah. Uh, core heat is transferred to the casing. Transfer is based on the design of the reactor's interior, et cetera, et cetera. Basically, we're ending up with a much more efficient design. Topping out somewhere right now around the 800 mark. Uh, it's turning around like 795, 794. I kind of want to see how, what it's capable of if we were to expand it. But I'm not really concerned about that because we're good. Uh, we do would I would like to add more fuel rods to this design. Um, I'm not exactly in a hurry to do that because we have no way of really moving this power around, except from that one singular test rack. Uh, we would I would uh, like to make more, but we're kind of short on the supplies to do that. Where am I going? Observatory. Uh, we need enderium for that, and I don't have any enderium. And that's not going to be easy to get uh, unless, is this, oh, there is an enderium block. Maybe we can. So we've got nine enderium ingots because I don't need an enderium block for anything. I do need quartz though. And the problem is, is it takes a lot of this quartz in order to make fused quartz. Um, if we go to Tesseract. Uh, I gotta figure out what the TK is bound to because sometimes it just up and doesn't work. Okay, so we have to use hardened glass, fused quartz, or uh, hardened aluminum, which again means we need lead and obsidian. So if we can get ourselves a fairly large amount of obsidian, we'd be good to go. Okay, is this a full tank? Yes, that is a full tank. So we're gonna take these. I wanna go downtown and uh, see if we can't get a little more of this action happening. Um, one thing I hadn't really thought of, we need to get that big stack of jelly cryothium out. Clearing out the basement is one thing, but clearing out that whole business, that's another thing entirely, I'm afraid. Um, the other, the other thing I was thinking of too is, do we really need that much jelly cryothium for anything? I think the answer to the question is no, because we've got 128 buckets worth of the stuff. And I'm about to get a butt ton more. There is, there, there's definitely something in there. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Oh God, oh God, oh God, hello. Well, that just came spilling out everywhere. That was inconvenient. So let's try and get to that. What say you guys? If I can nix that and then I do one of those jobs, get that out of there. Ow. Because I want to block that. Yeah, okay, so that worked. Nope, that did not work. Um, nope, 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 nope. Ah, what am I doing? What am I doing right now? Uh, this is what happens when you try and Minecraft late at night, guys. It's a bad time. Okay, let's do this. We're going to blow that up. Put one of them there. That should block that off. Right? Yes. Okay. Go away. Oh my, that's a lot of stuff. We're going to grab all of this right now. And I'm just going to put that there so it doesn't leak out just in case. So that just gave us some Invar chest plate. Don't really care. Boots of feather falling. Get out of here, Damascus speed boots. Hello, feather falling boots. Protection 2. Eh, I can kind of do without that. I don't really care that much. 
I ideally I would strip the enchantments off of that. I'm gonna open that later. Uh, let's continue with the operation here, which is quickly attach our pump and see what we get. So that was hidden inside there. So that leads me to believe that there's gonna be one hidden inside of the other thing, the lava tube in the other area, the rotunda. That's what I'm looking for. So if we can get to that, that would be really good too. Just go ahead and drain those. And you can see here, the, the drain on the actual battery is really not all that much. So we're just gonna kill these guys. I'm wondering how much else is actually hidden in here, because I would assume that it's actually kind of a lot. Is that even, is that even going? Oh, I guess you've run out of like space, eh? Hold on. That's cool. I can dig that. So let's move this guy over here now. We're gonna throw him. Honestly, what I really should do, let's let's throw him like. Like, not right there. Well, not right there. There you go. And we'll throw... Let's throw the QDS on top of that. That's what I'm saying. And let's grab our power supply, which is right here. Slap it down and see what happens. Nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? Why do you refuse to do things now? Oh, is it because there's anything bound to you? Oh, that might be it. Damn, I need like... Do I have a void? Anything? Like void pipe? Because a void pipe would be super great right now. Because you could just dump all that in there and not even have to worry about it. No. Doesn't look like I've got anything of that nature. Well, that's just unfortunate. Alright, well, let's turn this on so I don't lose this guy. Just put that like that and that like that. That's cool. So we'll slap him down there and we'll slap this guy down beside it. And we'll put a tank right here just for now. And let go. Unless I have to... Ah, there we go. So that just does him up. Now, uh, oh wait. So that, that worked this time. Let's see if happens if I put the QDS down. Okay, it's using power. I'm not sure where it's taking from right now, though. Oh, there it is. So there you go. That we can still use an NPQDS, not sync anything to just destroy areas. I don't know how it chooses what to actually like take, because it's not making much sense right now. It's just kind of going hog. But that's looking pretty good. So I'll tell you what, guys, this might be where I end the episode. Actually, it is going to be where I end the episode. So we got our, we finally got this pump going on. So yay us. I think that's super neat. Don't know what you guys think, but I think it's cool. We've more or less completely emptied this area out. Uh, I'm going to save up some materials and make some more tanks and get ourselves a butt ton of... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That is problematic. Can't have you floating around. Um, I will make a butt ton of stuff for us, and that'll be good. I'm just gonna go ahead and start dropping torches down here. I want to get a bunch of uh, tanks together, and we will store a whole bunch of lava, because that'll be useful for us in uh, in the large, large, large way. Um, you can never not have enough lava. Let me just put it that way. Especially if we can start using geothermal power, ow. Was un unnecessary. How's that doing? Nice. That's looking good. Anyway, guys, this will be where I end off. Uh, oh, we didn't open the damn thing. Um, shit. I need, I need, I need a chest. Any chest will do. Any chest at all. Where is there a chest that I don't have on me? Check the glass. Hold on. Let's, let's get out of here. I. Okay, we can throw those. 
We're going to go a little bit over time. I want to open that quest board bag. I can walk through that. Okay. Let's get rid of the sand. Throw a torch down to make sure that's all lit up. We'll get rid of this fucking snow. Ooh, okay, a lot of bad things are spawning now. Kill him. My army of snowmen are useful, but they die quickly. Okay, hold on. We're going to... I got to light all that up in a big way. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's try opening this reward. Fuck a duck. I'm full. Ugh. I did not want to go over time, guys. I really didn't. I thought we would actually be done by now. All right, let's quickly go back to the base. I'll let that continue its merry way. I'm I'm happy the way that worked, though. So I guess off camera, I will empty out the lava in the other area. I need to get something that mines manelium. That's what I need. Because my current pick is just not going to do that. Because if I can get that kind of mining level would be able to... I wonder if I can swap out the head on this. That'll be something to look at next episode for sure. Let's dump our inventory real quick. Like, all that. That does not need to... Oh, wow. Is my inventory full? No shit. It is. That's not good either. Okay. We're in a bit of a predicament because we don't have enough storage space. So we need to get on that ASAP as well. You can go. You can go. Okay. Let's try opening this good reward bag and see what we get. Survey says, oh good, two new mini-me's. Just what I needed. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode. As usual, if you liked it, please go ahead and leave a like. You can always find other work I've done in the description box below. And, of course, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.